Screw it. Getting it done. Oh, is that civilians or did we pull? I've got eyes on an advent position. Oh, that is bad. That is very bad. I'm <sighs> of course. It was hiding. Of course it was. Oh yeah, that's that's the good stuff. Okay, well, we're gonna do this. I can't imagine not doing this, so we're going to do it. Let's see. Uh, um, I can... Smokey, how much HP do you got? 13 plus an armor? I mean, that will work. You said screw it. <laughs> and you got it. That's right, Tracon. That's exactly right. Okay. Okay, here we go. Confirmed. Um, I can't hit the priest in the back, but what I can do is I can hit these guys. Boom. That's it, baby. Oh, you suck, sir. Does he have the armor thing? Oh, we finally run across a golf ball that doesn't have regenerating armor. Yay. Woo. That's so awesome. Um... I'm going to, oh, dude, if I want to do this, which I do, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to hit both of the priests. I can hit these guys. So I'm going to go, incoming is not going to hit him, is it? I don't think it is. No, it's not. Hmm. Is there anything else I want to do? Aid protocol, perhaps. Cobalt? Yeah, well, we'll a protocol cobalt. And then I think we're just gonna we're just gonna do capacitor discharge. Hopefully it'll disorient. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, unfortunately, I want to hit both of the priests, but I don't think I can. I think they're too far apart. I thought I could, but we cannot. So. Boom! Wait, what? Why does it say friendly fire? I just thought of something. There we go. Ah. Boom! There we go. Nice. Disoriented, disoriented, disoriented. Excellent! I didn't know you could disorient a gatekeeper. I actually thought you couldn't do that. So now let me let me see. Does the that's an, that's a regular archon. So Hmm. Not much we're going to be able to do about that. I can move to here, which is probably what we're going to do. Yep. And then... I can move the Snipperino to here. I'm on it. Here we go, boys! Okay. Good stuff. Oh! That's a miss! Stasis, son of a biscuit. God dang it. Well, we know he's not going to die, so there you go. Oh, missed again. Why are you standing on the open? Uh, what are you doing, blazing pinions? No, no, running around like a moron. They don't know where my dudes are. Did he just get three action points? Oh my god. I cannot believe that. Yikes. Okay. Well, nice knowing you boys. Been been a pleasure, my dudes. Been a pleasure. Smokey! Lay it down, baby. What? What? Wait, what? Oh, they're immune to experience. Huh? Huh? I'm very confused. I am so very confused about that. Like... Oh! Fortress... Oh, okay, so... For, that, so it... God, dude. It gave the damn... 
golf ball freaking fortress. What an asshole. Who can I see? I can see the Archon, and I can see the... Okay, okay. So, god dang it. Well, that was worthless. Wah, wah, right? It was completely useless. I should have just shot. Um... Damn, that means the golf ball's gonna stay up, dude. That's not good. That's not good. I can't see the golf ball with her. Oh, man. We are so screwed. We are so screwed. Well... Huh. Hmm. I mean, I can move up. And we can... God, dude, this is not good. I mean, he, I, I could give him ever, 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 excuse me, ever vigilant. He has Sentinel, Guardian, and all that stuff. So what we're going to do is I'm going to Lightning Hands. Five, uh, let's go here. Boom! You're done. Now let me, let me see. The question that I'm, I'm having to ask here is... Man, I could just shoot with the pistol. That would be 100% chance. Unfortunately, it would end my turn. So I think I'm gonna do. We're gonna do death from above. Now, the the, the thing I want to know is, does the other one give it Bastion as well? I think it does. I think that's why it's radiating like it is. Ugh, that sucks. So yeah, Bastion Fortress now provides immunity to nearby teammates. Ugh, that's garbage. That is garbage, man. It didn't even shred the armor. That's that's the shitty thing. So a gas grenade isn't going to do a damn thing to that. So um, what will do a damn thing to that though is we're gonna we're gonna obliterate the priest. We're gonna obliterate that priest. Now the question is, do I justice? No, we do not. We do not. We do this. Eight to thirteen, baby. Come on. Eight damage, of course. Of course, of course. Now, I really need to kill these guys. I really, really need to kill this dude. Oh, nine damage! My weapon is God dang it. Depleted. Okay, so, well, you know what this means? Who's your teammate? Your teammate is Smokey? Uh, yeah, Smokey's, Smokey's boned. He can do 14 damage? Yeesh. I definitely should have moved Smokey to high ground, high cover. That's that's for damn sure. I can't command Smokey. Or I can command Smokey to move. In fact, I might. Hmm. If I can kill the priest, which I might be able to. Let's find out. If I can kill the priest. We might, we might, we might be able to finagle something here. And there it is, baby. So maybe should have reapered. That might have been a good idea. M maybe, sorta, of, kinda. Uh, so we can move. We can do this. Yeah, let's try this way. Let's uh, command you. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, now. I really don't want to kill civilians. Um, I really don't. I really, really don't. Ah, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Why does it say friendly fire? Is it because of the civilians? Yeah, see, it's still saying friendly fire, but it's not touching anything friendly. Um, oh, it's the crate, isn't it? Yeah, it was the crate that I was hitting. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go like that. Hobie, hi! Greetings! Salutations, friend. How are you? Hope you guys are enjoying the stream. I know I'm having a blast. No! Civvies! No! You poor bastards. So sorry for you. So sorry for you. I could give Smokey another move, which would make allow him to move forward. Uh, I mean, it's just regular teamwork, so let's do it. 
I want him in high cover because uh, last thing I want is, a, is to have to train another grenadier this late in the game. Took the kiddo on an outing. Nice. Nice. I think I'm going to sit right here. I think we're just going to sit right here. We're going to see what the golf ball does. He's no longer disoriented. It only gives him nine aim bagger. Can I get back my Overwatch? Oh, ow. Ooh. Well, that just happened. Oh, now you're flanking me. That's great. Good job. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. No. Bad gateway. Bad. No. No. You, sir, are an asshat. Ooh, it's open. It's open. It's open. Please tell me I got a shot. Oh, yeah, baby. Come on. That's it. Dead eye. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, 31 damage. How you like me now? How you like me now? That's what you get. That's what you get. Asshole. Die, fool. Yeah! Boom. Wait, what? I should have moved Painter. Whoops. 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 I mean, he only took a little bit of damage, right? Just, just a wee. Just a wee. Let's go ahead and loot this. And apparently he now has a uh, now has a permanent drone. Apparently he likes it like that. So I mean we took we took a bit of damage. It's, this is not that big of a deal, right? Damn, dude, that's like six Illyrium cores that we found on this mission. Ain't it though? Ain't it though? Uh, there's one back there. There's one up there. So you don't have one, Smokey. Let's get you one. Actually, let's get Smokey. There are no more enemies. So, let's grab you, and we're going to move you this way. There are no more enemies. We got four turns. Let's go. And then Smokey. Nice. Smokey. Damn, that was good, dude. Oh, that sniper shot was so good. And then we're going to get Smokey in here. Follow me into battle. Nice. Nice. I mean, luckily, it didn't do that much damage. Luckily. And, oh, I can't grab it this turn. Oh, come on. Wah, wah, wah. That sucks, man. That sucks. Uh, well, I guess we just move you over here. Yeah, downside. It, I mean, it hurt, but we, we survived, baby. We survived. That's what matters. And there's the extract. We, we got this. I think we got this. We get, we're we're going to get out of here before... We're gonna get out of here before the reinforcements even show up, so I'm not overly concerned about it. Might say I have to take a couple days off. Okay. You guys did a fab, fantabulous job. Absolutely, baby. Absolutely. Busting all the windows out. All the windows out. You know, I still haven't found a shot for. I might do the one where Reckoner was, uh, for my thumbnail, I, I might do the one where Reckoner was uh, above the Andromedon and got that one-shot kill. Oh, so beautiful. So beautiful. So even though we wasted a grenade, we still came out on top. We still came out on top. Took a little bit of damage. No biggie. And I pulled a really, really bad pot. I was like, oh, well, they, no, they're probably not over here in this little corner. They're probably not there. No, they're, they're standing right there. That's exactly where they are. That is indeed exactly where they are. Why? What the hell's wrong with you? He's got like one action point. Why? Is 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 he disoriented? Um. Maybe it's because that's weird. Oh, it's the end of the turn. I'm such a derp. <laughs> I'm such a derp. Okay, uh, let's sit right there. We're gonna Overwatch, and then I'm just gonna move you. <laughs> I, was, I thought I thought it was the beginning of another turn. I was like, why does he only have one action point? That's not that's not cool. That's not cool. No trespassers. Okay. 
Moving to Overwatch. And of course, another chrysalid infiltrator mission with no chrysalids. Like, I'm so very disappointed. Why, game? Why must you disappoint me so? Sure. I'll do a song and dance for you. Why must what you disappoint you me so? Me I would have you shut the hell up. That's what I would have you do. All right, let's grab this. Skadoosh. Where it's, that's all of them, baby. That's all of them. So, yeah, dude, your mobility is garbage, Trooper. Absolutely garbage. If I didn't need you to have hacking, I would definitely give you a mobility mod. That's definitely a thing we'd, 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 we'd have to talk about. Moving far. Come get some. Commander, we're losing the AO and our forces in the process. Yeah, 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 I Bradford. Shut your mouth. We consider pulling the squad Shut out. your mouth. Damn, we still can't get out. That's great. Come on, let's go. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Overwatch. Uh, yeah, everybody can get in. Everybody can get in. I don't want to do it now because I don't want to hit back space. Because I'm lazy. Because I'm lazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're all right. This day shall be a glorious one for the A Empire. glorious one. It's always a glorious day in the Empire. Is it clear? Always a glorious day in the Empire, my dudes. Is that everybody? Excellent. Excellent. Another glorious mission. My dudes. What a run. Packages secure. Woo! A, thir uh, a smash and grab with 13 enemies. One of them being a freaking gatekeeper. Wow. Just wow. That was still pretty good. Courage is not the absence of fear. Pretty good point. Pretty good point. Hmm. My dude, Harry Raven Selden. Greetings and salutations, friend. Welcome. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for the follow, my dude. We're going to take good care of you here. Appreciate it, my dude. Thank you for all your support today, guys. You guys are doing, you guys are freaking awesome. Mad Hatter. Greetings and salutations. Ha <laughs> ha. My dudes. Hope you're enjoying the beats as much as I am, man. Jamming out, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. This this is right here. This, this defines something. You know what's funny, though? You know where I learned this lesson? You'll never guess. You'll never guess. I'm going to say it before you can respond in chat because of the delay, but you'll never guess, man. Freaking He-Man. He-Man, when I was like five years old, taught me that lesson. They literally say it in plain language. Plain language. It's glorious. Absolutely glorious. <laughs> and it stuck with me almost my entire life. Freaking He-Man. I can't believe that, dude. I can't believe that. You know what really made me mad, though? It wasn't in the movie. It wasn't in the movie. I think I even remember the episode. It was the episode where Adam lost the sword and he couldn't and he couldn't transform into He-Man. And uh, I forget the dude's name. It's the guy with the like green helmet that's like his like surrogate father. You know, they're like in like sewers and stuff and he's like I'm so scared. He's like courage is not the absence of fear. It is what you do even when you are afraid. Oh man, it sends chills down your spine. Woo! Whoever made this soundtrack is an absolute, an absolute god. Just, like, I cannot get over how good this sounds. <laughs> Who came up with this, man? It's just like the music in Escape from Tarkov. It's so good that you could just listen to it forever, and it, and it would probably be fine. I'm not going to lie. I'm thinking about downloading it to my phone so I can wake up to it. Damn, Cobalt. Really? Nine days? Why, bro? You had like one HP missing. Come now, sir. And, oh, Smokey didn't level up. Come on now. Come on. That's not fair. 
36 crystals, 51 alloys, no supplies, eight cores. Whoa, we could sell those. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay. All right, all right. Eight. Eight Illyrium cores. Wow. 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 That's crazy. You got supply drop in four days. All right, so I have enough time to go to the black market and get some money. I don't really know how much that's going to help us, though, because... Um, I can't send those guys back out. Specifically, Cobalt and Painter. So, let's go to the black market. Yes. Let's go to the black market. And let's, let's, get, let's, get, some, let's get some money, baby. Let's get some money. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that. Um... Okay, so I got four, so I'm going to get 84 for that. So that's a suit of armor. We're going to sell most of our troopers. Yep. Stunnies. Yeah, I'm going to sell those. Sell that. Alloy plating, I'm going to keep those. Andy, no, no, no. We're not getting rid of Andy. Not getting rid of Andy. Advanced perception. Uh, shard gun. I could probably go ahead and get rid of some of these. Ah, uh, But, man, I, I like having these. Advanced expanded magazine. Let's get rid of that. We can make the uh, the elite ones. So, shard gun. It's a magnetic shotgun. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. We'll get rid of that. We're not going to keep the mag rifle just in case. I want it. Advanced auto loader. Let's sell all but a few of those. Red screen round. Smoke bomb. Long rifle. Mag long rifle. Yep, we can get rid of that. Superior side. I'm going to keep that. 17 mechs. So, let's grab. Let's just sell eight of those. Um, Advent Mech, Berserker Corpse, let's sell two. And so it looks like, looks like we're doing pretty good here. I have 421 available. Advanced Suppressor, keep those. Trace around, regular Suppressors, we're going to get rid of those. Or keep one, keep one. So just in case I want to start making them. Gauss Long Rifle, that's a coil rifle, so we're going to keep those. Uh, that's a, that's the coil rifle, we're going to keep those. Elite Laser Sights, damn, I got six of them. Let's sell three. Because I don't use them hardly on anybody. Advanced stock. Sell one of those. I think I got enough elite stocks to where I could get rid of a bunch of these. So we shall. Plated bit. Predator armor. Coral rifle. Conditioning. Nope, nope, nope. Iron skin. Chrysalids. Purifiers. Shield bearers. We're going to keep that. And... So we can get rid of the hair trigger. Hacking, mag, do, 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 codex brains, viper corpses, drone wrecks. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go down to four. Archon corpses, I'm not going to get rid of those. So we're at 581. I think we're good. I think we're good. Gatekeeper shells, oh, it's so good. Superior agility. I was going to keep that one because it's 20. Yeah. Nano med kit, advanced arc thrower, muton elites. I got four muton elite corpses, five muton corpses. Um, advanced conditioning, advent data pad, mag cannon, nanoscale vest. Mm -hmm. None of these I'm really looking at that I want to get rid of. Nope, 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 nope. I'm, I, I mean, I could get rid of the reinforced frame, but uh, nah, we'll be all right. All right, I think this is good. We're going to confirm. Boom. Okay, we should be good to go on our mission. Let's do it, baby. Haven assault. Let's do it. Ten hours. You ain't got nothing on me, Advent. You ain't got nothing on me, baby. We got this. Put my boot up your ass. That's what, I, that's what we're going to do. So we're probably going to have to hodgepodge it. Oh, we're definitely bringing Asmodus. Oh, yeah. We're definitely bringing his ass. Uh, let's see. David is tired. Lily is... Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I can bring... I can bring Reckoner and Pale Rider. Excellent. Uh, Reckoner... Yeah, Rain, he's down. So Painter... Okay. So, what about Blackguard? Who we got? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. Multiple snipers. That's what we're going for here. So, I got a lot of stuff that I have to buy, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and grab Reckoner. Pale Rider. We'll grab Pale Rider. Who's your dude? Smokey. Do you want to bring Smokey? 
How many dudes can we bring? One, two, three, four, five. Um, we, yeah, no, I don't think we're gonna, we, we only need, I do want to bring him to level him up, but I don't think we're gonna need him. That's the problem. And I do want to bring another Schnipperino. Do we go with two snipers for Ultra Daka? For the Ultra Ultra Daka? I think so. I think we go for the Ultra Mega Ultra Daka, right? Mega Ultra Daka? Is that what Where is he? Shady. I thought Godfather was available. Wait, do I not have another sniper available? Nope. Nope. Godfather's bond training. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, well, that just means that we grab... Uh, I mean, we could grab Trooper, but, I mean, I don't really need another another dude bro like that. So, David is tired. Prophet! Hey, buddy! Hey, buddy! How you doing there? How you doing there, bud? And, yeah, I think we're going to bring Smokey. I think we're going to bring Smokey. He's a staff sergeant. So, I really want to get him Biggest Booms and Volatile the Mix. We need, to, we need to get him some some good stuff. Let's go ahead and grab Needle Grenades. Let's go ahead and grab some of that. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And where's Pale Rider? Where's Pale Rider? She has six ability points. Double tap. Boom. <laughs> oh, the double tap with Alpha Mike's Foxtrot, dude. It just does not get old. Does not get old, my dudes. So we got a Plasma Waffen. I like Plasma Waffens. Uh, we got two Warden Armors. Should be okay with that. Should be. Should be. And then we're going to grab uh, Skulljack. Yeah, just a little bit of Skulljack there. Just a little bit of Skulljack. You know what? I'm going to turn myself down just a wee bit because I like to have the mic fairly close to my mouth. All right, there we go. How's that? Is that better? So that way when I scream into the mic, it's not so damn loud. It's not so damn loud. There we go. Yeah, it's good stuff. Okay. Uh, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Slim also has a carapace. That's a, that's good. That's good. We're going to give him attack vest. He's got a fusion blade. Already got the fusion blade. Do we go battle scanner? Yeah, battle scanner it is. Battle scanner. And What's your what's your armor there, bud? 14 is not too bad for what I want. I'm going to grab I kind of want to grab a war suit. Wait, hang on. Hang on. Let me see something here. Let me let me back out. Just chill for a second. Mayhem, Berserker Gauntlet. Do we have Plasma Blaster? What I want to know is how do I give a blaster bomb to my... Can we even give blaster bombs to our Grenadiers? I don't think so. I don't think so. Hmm. That's what I was looking at. I wanted to see if it was there. Because I know, you, I know that the technicals can use blaster bombs. And in vanilla... And in vanilla, you can have... Excuse me. In Vanilla, you could have your Grenadiers have Blaster Bombs. Um, I mean, we could bring Polak for the awesome sauce stuff. But McNasty needs, needs to level up as well. She needs to get full kit. And since we're going to need more full kit, we're going to bring... We're going to bring Smokey. I really want to get him leveled up. And who's your bro? Pale Rider, that's right. Polak, Cobalt, Shady. Yeah, you guys are max, though. Yeah. I mean, hmm. Hmm. I do need to raise their bond level. What? What's the, um, what's the bond level with Polak? Oh, this was about halfway up. What's your... 7.5? Yeah, yeah, okay. I could forego profit and bring more explosives. I mean, we could go full out blow everything to smithereens, right? I mean, I'm totally about that. 
I'm totally all about that. Let's, you know what? Let's have some fun. Let's blow everything up. Let's just blow it all up. Let's just do it. Let's just blow it all to hell. Um, where is that bullpup at? Where is my plasma Waffen bull bullpup? I want it. I need it in my life. Is that it? No. Ah, there it is. See, you know it's, you know, because it's got high number and it costs an Illyrium core. That's how you know it's the correct one. We also don't have one. I think I sold that one. Yeah, the magnetic one. Yeah, we totally did. All right, my dude. So you get Elite Auto Loader, Elite Scope, and Elite Stock. So let's strip that bad boy. Strip it good, baby. Strip it good. Oh, yeah. Six to 12. Oh, it's so good, man. Oh, look at it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Elite lasers. No, 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 no. We got uh, elite auto loader. Elite scope. And here's the thing. I could get elite hair trigger, but I rarely overwatch with him, right? That Like, they, they nerfed the crap out of his ability to overwatch. Like, before, in the previous build, he had a really good overwatch potential because you could activate this ability that allowed him to overwatch no matter what. Even if he had shot twice, it was really good. I mean, it wasn't... You, know, you didn't do it all the time, but it was still cool. So, I think we're going to go with the stock. Just in case. Just in case. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. And we give him armor pin plus a gas bomb. Do I have an incendiary bomb? I do. You have a gas bomb as well. Yes. Yes, you do. I could grab... Ooh, you know what we have. You know what we can build, boys. Yeah. You know what we could build. Let's go. Let's build it. Let's build it, baby. Where is this bad boy? Where is it? There it is. Oh! Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. It tastes so, it tastes so nice. Just, mm -hmm. Just eat it up. Eat it up, baby. All right. Do we have a war suit? Uh, I don't think so. We got warden armor. So, okay. This is what we're going to do. We're gonna go, we're gonna give him Warden Armor. Yep. That looks gross, dude. That looks gross. What, what are you doing? What are you doing, bruh? What are you doing? How very dare you, sir? How very dare you? Um, there we go. I don't know what the hell's wrong with you, bud. Uh, the Skeleton or XCOM? We go XCOM. XCOM all the way. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. I like that. I can deal. I can deal. We're going to give him the war suit with double rocket launcher action. <laughs> so good. Gas bomb. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep him with the gas bomb. And a regular old med kit. Sure. He's got, uh, how much HP does he have? Plus three. Yeah, that works. What about you? You got defense. What's your mobility? 14 minus one. Uh, you know what? You know what? Let's give him mobility. I have plus two mobility. Yeah, let's do that. So he's got how much? How much negative defense does he have now? Oh my god. Okay, I wasn't really thinking when I did that, but that's okay. That's okay. It'll be fine. McNasty girl, why don't you have your own grenade launcher? Like, how many times do I got to tell you, bros? to grab your own grenade launcher. You're responsible for your own equipment, damn it. I can't be bothered to freaking do it every single time you borrow somebody else's grenade launcher. Why? Where the hell is that thing? Um, I'm scanning. I'm scanning. I don't see the damn thing. This is why I hate this list. Because it's like, oh, weapons. I got like 50 million things I can buy. There it is. There it is. Because I, I, it's, it's hard for me to read all that stuff and actually pick it out. I know that sounds like a lame-ass excuse, but it's true. <laughs> all right, we got to build some Warden Armor now. Let's go, uh, let's build one for right now. We're running out of Illyrium, so we got we to be careful about what we buy. Because, you know, I decided to grab uh, a blaster launcher because I'm a derp-a-derp. Because -derp. I'm a derp-a-derp. -derp. Derp -derp 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 -derp. Oh, hey, look, we got the Bolt Caster. I might, I might grab that. Let's see. Uh, we'll, we'll just we'll just keep the we'll just keep the plasma whopping. 
for now. Okay, I could get him. Ooh. Do we give Asmodus an Illyrium phase cannon, eh? Joe never learns to keep track of his stuff. Yeah, man. <laughs> what can I say, dude? What can I say? Um, do, do we not have an acid grenade? Uh, apparently not. Does, it, does, does nobody have acid? Well, we'll just have to fix that, won't we? Two crystals. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. Um, I'm going to give it to... We'll give it to you, McNasty. Give it to you. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, but dude, it costs 20 Illyrium to build this thing. Uh, do I need to build any more suits? I actually do. I actually do. So we're not... He needs armor and an Illyrium cannon. That's what he needs. But I really want to... Let me see. Let me see. Um... I really don't want to do that. I really don't want to. Like, don't make me game. Don't make me. I don't want to. I don't want to. I want to get the phase cannon. But if I get the phase cannon, I won't be able to buy any more armor. So, um, do I build another wraith suit for lulls? For the lulls? Man, I want to kill the dang Archon. That's what I want to do. I'm really mad that I didn't put the Chosen in this. I'm really mad at it. Looking back, it's like, man, I totally could have done that, and I didn't. And it feels bad, man. It feels bad, but it's okay. I just wish the damn alien rulers would appear more. I'm kind of mad about that. Um, do we have a... Do we have a... Oh, we do. A tag vest, baby. Hell yeah. So we're looking at nine HP, one armor. Okay, okay, that's fine. We can, we can work with that. We can work with that. All right, we basically spent all of our money... Ah, uh, yeah, basically. Basically. Um, how much does it cost to build Scram Gun? Five Illyrium Crystals. Yeah, I'm two crystals short of being able to build this. Illyrium Phase Cannon. And it costs 65 supplies. So I could build, I could build them. I could totally build them. Um, it costs five Illyrium crystals for those two. Ten, five less supplies I'm not, I'm not Illyrium for. So, we could get, uh, we could get the powered armor for the skirmisher. That's something we could do. Yep. Okay. Boom, baby. Look how much HP he's got. 16. Oh. He's fully kitted, yo. He's fully kitted. Okay, now we're completely out of Illyrium. We got eight, so I could build a I could build a weapon. Do I need one on anybody? Uh, I could give you got one. I could give you a thing. I could give you a thing too, but you have sixty-seven aim. I'm like, Ugh. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go all out. Screw this game. I'm gonna kill everything. I'm going to kill everything. Uh, let's strip the weapon. And we're going to grab the scram gun. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Praise be to the emperor. Another space marine armor to purge Xenos. Indeed. To protect our glorious warriors from the dirty, dirty Xenos weapons. How dare you, dirty Xenos. I'm going to go advanced suppressor. Yeah, do I have enough to buy an elite scope? Because that would be hilarious. Do I have enough? I do. Uh, ah, yes. The corruptible. The corruptible Xenos. May they be forever purged. I love it, man. Love it. I'm having a great time today. How about you guys? I hope you guys are having fun. Um, hope you're enjoying the stream. Purifying Holy Terra, indeed, indeed. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream. And if you are, don't forget to hit that follow button. Smash it, smash it, purge it, cleanse it. Do all the things, do all the things. And remember, I just put up another tier two emote, a different tier two emote. So it's no longer the little wood stick, it's, a, it, it's, it's Tango Dingle, it's Tango Purge. 
So if you have enough Tango points, you can unlock it, I believe. Um, and I did that because it's awesome. It's awesome. And I did it. I did that for Tracon because it's got a, I put a shotgun in it for Tracon. Just for him. Just for him. Because I know he loves to cleanse and purge. All right, my dude. We got Operation Twisted Hero. Light to moderate. This is going to be an advent retaliation. To be 16 to 18 enemies, we are going to annihilate this. We got Zulu, Pale Rider, Slim, Asmodus, McNasty, Reckoner, Smokey, and Polak. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll, baby. Can't unlock the emote? No! What do you mean you can't unlock the emote? How can you not unlock the emote? Hang on. Says to, to, to unlock random sub emote. Choose an emote to unlock for a thousand. Huh. Maybe I need to put another one on there for that. Weird. Weird. All right, let's uh, let's begin mission. Onward, my dudes. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, I don't know why you can't unlock it. That's weird. It says you can unlock a random emote, and then it says you can unlock uh, a specific one. And since most of you guys binge watch me, I figured you'd, you'd have enough points. Maybe, uh, maybe I need to reset it or something. You don't get a choice of the new emote? That's weird. Hmm. Well, that's the thing is it's like I'm there, I've only got three, so if you're if you're already subbed, you get the you get tier one. Huh. I might swap them around and make cleanse and purge the, the tier one emote. I might do that. <laughs> oh, Sudsy. Sudsy, Tango Life! Give me that Tango Life, baby. Tango Life's all about cleansing and purging. Possibly, I, w I will say, I am... I gotta admit, I I've been recently introduced, recently in the past few months, introduced to my f to my new favorite uh, Warhammer 40k lore, the Black Crusade. It's, uh... Space Marines after my own heart, if you know what I'm saying. Just, they don't stop. They don't stop. Now that we've got the aliens' attention, they're taking it out on one of the resistance outposts in the area. We're heading in to secure the camp and protect as many civilians as we can. Eliminate yeah, all the Black all Legion. Yeah, sorry. The site. Make them regret coming after the resistance. The Black Legion is on a forever crusade. I can't remember how it's done. Anyway, I was watching more videos. I was like, oh my god, Black Crusade, led by Felbadon. No, 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 no. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's the ones that they, they're basically religious zealots, like fervent religious zealots. Like, imagine the worst religious zealot that we have on our planet, multiply that by a hundred, and then they go out into the thing and they, they crusade. I, I believe it was called, I can't remember exactly what it's called. I thought it was called the Black Crusade. Black Templars? I, I, I maybe, maybe. But anyway. The, the, the lore goes that they constantly are forever on a crusade. They, they, they look for um, old, old Terran colonies. They, they purge all Xenos they come across. Death Watch are the Xenos hunting specialists. You're already subscribed. You have access to all applicable emotes. Maybe I need to reset something or some, something like that. How many emotes do you have access to? Hostile forces are attacking the outpost. Eliminate all enemy units and Black Templars, that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Black Templars. So Our Imperial and Honor Crusade. Thank you! On this there you go, my dude. See, I don't know very much about Warhammer 40k. I'm still diving in, but what I do know is that I found a comic book on the Black Templars that I'm still trying to read whenever I get some freaking time. But, you know, I'm streaming, I'm trying to start a business, I have a kid to raise, I got to exercise, and, you know, cleansing and purging is hard work, you know what I'm saying? They got rid of the table flip of emo pair of emotes? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess it was offensive or something. <laughs> Thanks, Dale Slide. Thanks, buddy. Okay, where are we at? All right. Uh, let's go ahead and save it. You know what? You know what? Cleanse and purge. There we go. We got this. We totally got this. Okay, look at how much HP he has. Oh, it's so good. Alrighty. So, where shall we go? He's the only one that's got stealth, right? 
Yeah, he's the only one who's got stealth. Now, it did say there was no sectopod. I believe. So let's go here. Agreed. Make sure there's nothing in the building. There's a dude there. Okay. Okay, baby. Uh, let's go ahead and ghost walk. I intend to. And move here. At once. Nothing. Nada. How could there be nothing? How dare you, sir? How very dare you? Um. Oh wow, the roof is blown off. I did not notice that at first. It's like okay, well, uh, I mean, uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. So we have video games where people are torn to pieces, yet Twitch censors table flip emotes. Who knows, dude? Who knows? Oh, is that what it was? Too aggressive, or are you are you playing off me? Uh, I mean, I mean, dude, it, you know it's probably what it is. You know it is. That's yeah. You're right, Tudzy. It's it's ridiculous nonsense. And the thing you got to remember is that these kinds of people, they don't care about double standards. They don't care about hypocrisy. None of that. None of that means anything to them uh, because it allows them to it allows them to essentially um, make their enemies suffer while they push forward their own agenda. I so stuff like that is just, are. you know, yeah, yeah, I despise it. I despise it. Now, unfortunately, he's in my way. I hate when I do that. <sighs> now I'm stuck. Thanks, game. What I meant to do is click Reckoner and move him so that I could grapple to there. Yeah, you saw how well that went. All right, well, let's move Reckoner up. Um, Asmodas, let's get you up here, buddy. I don't know what I'm going to do with Pale Rider now. Um, I mean, I guess I could still get her up here. Oh, hello. Let's go right here. So we can see things. Chrysalid Soldier. Interesting. Hello. Hello. Yay, misclicks for the win. Nah, there's some hilarious things here. Uh, Conan Exile streams, for example. Yeah, virtue signaling by censoring nudity in a game where limbs are cut off because gore is apparently okay for all ages. Yeah, exactly. To be fair, though, Sudzy, the, the, the double standard of gore being okay and sex not being okay, it's not actually a double standard because they do two different things to the brain, right? Um, so it's like porn is really bad for you, more so than watching fake gore. Fake gore will simply desensitize you to fake gore. Um, they've, they've done plenty of studies on this that mostly violence in media, it, it can make you more aggressive in the short term, but won't in the long run. Whereas watching uh, sex can indeed have very bad consequences for the long term. Just because of, uh, just because of what it does to your brain. So, it looks like we can't see that anymore. So, if I go here, I know that chrysalid's going to pull. We know that for a fact. So, I'm going to move. I'm going to move Smokey here. Agreed. Certainly, and agree, but nudity is not sex. But, yeah. Leave the censorship on the games for that reason, because they have kids in the house. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's just like, you know, people who, who bitch about cursing and then do, you know, but gratuitous violence is okay. It's kind of the same, kind of the same thing. It's like, what? It doesn't make much sense, but... In the end, it's, it's because it does different things, right, to your brain. And now that we understand, and the thing about it is, before, we didn't know that. Back in the old days, when they first started trying to ban everything because it didn't it didn't uh, conform to the religious sensibilities of, of people, they didn't know this stuff was, was a thing. They just, they, they didn't know why it was a thing. They just knew it was a thing, right? That, that That's really where it comes from. So... Um, it's 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 only real world violence that really affects your brain, unless you're like a really 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 young child, like three or four. Watching watching gratuitous violence won't 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 start affecting you or won't affect you once you're a certain age. I believe it's like eight to ten. It might be a little bit younger for boys, or that might be the boys' age, and it might be a little bit older for girls. I don't know. I, it's been a long time since I've looked at the research, but it's there. Now, that doesn't mean it's conclusive either, and it doesn't mean that different people aren't affected differently. But anecdotally, 
Penn and Teller did a show called Bullshit where they uh, did a bunch of testing and stuff like that. They did one on nuclear power. As you know, I would I fully endorse their view on nuclear power because it's you know um, correct. <laughs> but um, but uh, they, they did a lot of stuff on that show. And one of the things they did was do video games cause you to be violent. And the answer is anecdotally, in their instance, no. Once a boy goes through puberty, the brain changes enough that it can handle things, more violence, movies, and video games. Yeah, but the thing about it is they can actually handle it before then, too. That's the crazy thing about it. It's like it's only in early, early childhood before you attain actual sentience um, that, it, it, that, uh, that violence in media can really affect you. It's violence in the real world. It's gore in the real world that, uh, that really traumatizes our brains. Um, and changes uh, how it works. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and overwatch. But one of the things that they did is they took a kid who was like 10 years old who played like Halo all day and stuff. So he basically spent all day, you know, purging the Xenos scum. And then they were like, oh, you know, it makes kids violent. So then what they did is they uh, they took him to a range and uh, put an AR in his hand. Obviously, it was all safe and there was a range master and all this stuff. But they put an AR in his hands. The boy fired it one time and broke down in tears. Oh, come on, Asmodas. Lightning reflexes. Lightning reflexes. Hey! Please don't kill. Please don't kill. Please don't kill the... Why did that explode? I have no... Uh, what? 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 Okay, the little ones don't have lightning reflexes? That's good. That's good. It was a graze. That's fine. That's fine. But yeah, they put an AR in his hand, and the dude broke down in tears. It was... I'm not going to lie. It was kind of funny. Um, and it's because he had never been, you know, he, his mom was a single mom. He didn't have a real father figure in his life. And so he had never been exposed to that kind of real world violence. And all that had been was video games. And so it was so loud and so traumatizing. He broke down in tears. And it was, it was kind of funny because it was like, wow, it's, it's that powerful. It's, 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 that's, that's a huge delineation between real and fake that you just can't unsee and it's anecdotal it doesn't prove a damn thing this is obvious you know that's what anecdotal evidence is it doesn't prove anything but it does show you that <laughs> that when you when you when you when you when you have real world violence versus fake violence that there is a very distinct difference between those two mm, that's a nice that's a nice grenade right there but I think we're going to get Smokey over here. Move him up. What would you have me do? Oh, you want to know? You want to know? It's going to be this. Oh, do you hear this music? Do you hear this music? That guitar, baby. That guitar. That's what most modern music is listening to. It is missing, excuse me, when you listen to it. Heavy guitar solos. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You don't need 10-minute guitar solos everywhere. It's not what you need, but still. Really? It didn't kill that one. God dang it. Uh, well, I mean, we did get rid of all the all the stuff, so... Hmm. We're not going to be flanking anybody. So, can you shoot anything? No. You do have a lightning hands, though. So, I am going to move you to here. Good. Let's go. Please, no whammies. Okay, thank God. All right, so... What we got? Yeah, that's that's probably uh huh uh huh uh huh uh huh. Do we have any AOE at all that's not grenades? I mean, I could take more shots. It's not that big of a deal. Let's not use lightning hands. Is kind of what I'm getting at. Um, no, actually, let's use lightning hands and then I'll shoot the crystal. Yes, let's get this one. Boom. Yeah, nice cluster to grenade bomb. I really didn't want to use a, a blaster bomb on it. I, I mean, I have so much DACA. I got two shred storm cannons. I have two rockets. Yeah, no bunker buster yet. Two rockets. A, a gas bomb. He's got an incendiary bomb. Um, I've got two grenadiers with, with 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 four grenades each. I mean, she's got full kit. She have full kit. Yes, it's just she's got two acid bombs and four grenades. He's got four grenades. It's just like I got so much dock out on it. I'm just gonna blow everything up. Screw it, baby. Screw it. All right, now shoot it in the face. Shoot it in the face. Oh, how you like me now, boy? How you like me now? That's what I thought. Okay, 
Asmodus. If you would please, sir. And forever. God, I love that. Oh, the Terminator voice is so good. Sit down, bitch. And let's see, Zulu. Zulu? No, nah, do we want Zulu to have it? Uh, actually, I'm going to get Polak to run up in here. And I think we're going to shoot it. Pew, pew, pew. Come on. 68. Is that really all you got, dude? What the hell? Defense. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Oh, yes. Right in the butthole. I hear you, buddy. I hear you. Hey, look, it's Pitor. I forgot about Pitor. What's over there? She's a side bro. What does she have? Advanced Siam? Yeah, good, 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 good. I, she's got basic equipment because she's the uh, she's the Haven advisor. So you know, looking good, baby, looking good there. I do not want, man. Yeah, we'll do this. So we'll do this. Come on now. Where are you, Xenoscum? I know you're here somewhere. Hello. Hello, sir. Nothing? Damn, really? They're all the way in the back like that, huh? All right, well, I'm going to get McNasty to uh, move up here a little bit. What is it now? Since, uh, since we don't need that. Reckoner. Oh, no, I'm blocking it. That sucks. Um, that's okay, though. That's okay. Um, hmm. I just moved McNasty in front of the ladder. I was like, damn it, I want to get up on that roof. I mean, I could get up here. We could do that. We could do that, but I think we'll be okay. I'm going to move. Let's move here. We pull anything? No, we did not. Who's next? Excellent. Let's go. Let's go here. Copy that. Okay, who else do we got? Shrekener and Pitor. All right. Um, Pitor does not have any good cover down here. So I'm going to leave her right there. Let's overwatch. It is under Moving to overwatch. We still got 12 dudes left. It's going to be 11 here in a minute. Oh, no. How'd you miss? How's that a thing? Yeah, they're still going to shoot somebody else because, you know, that's what they do. Oh, 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 so we were talking about nudity and all that stuff, and the thing about it is, so you're actually right about the whole nudity thing. Ooh, damn. Ow. Get some, baby. Yeah, you're done. Okay, so I got one. Woo. Is that you're actually right about the whole nudity thing. Nudity in and of itself doesn't actually do anything. In fact, old school porn back in the day, like like Playboy and even, even Hustler in its early days, really doesn't affect the brain like porn does today because it there because there is there is um ex you have extreme access it's not just that you can see you know sexual acts it's that you can see any sexual act at the at the drop of a hat um and you can find exactly what triggers your uh you can find you can find exactly what triggers the chemical response in your brain the best so you can find exactly what you know to press that that button in your brain that gives you that that high that you get from it and it's not something that you really have to seek out over it's not something that takes a lot of effort to seek out like it does in real life when you have to like you know get a wife and all this other stuff um and so it it definitely um has a different kind of effect now, who am i going to get this with who am I going to get this with? Are we going to go... Are we going to get it with Smoggy? Can we see this dude? I don't even think I could grenade him. Man, that, that kind of sucks. That kind of... At least he got the... At least he got that stuff on there. Just look at an old painting in Europe, religious art, no less, and another example of how nudity was not considered pornographic or vulgar. Yeah. It, but it ha But they also... It was also had to be tastefully done, kind of thing. You know what I mean? And a lot... And a lot of the stuff... That's just... That's just the way it is, I guess. And... It's just like, like um, nudity on like Twitch, for instance, like the whole body painting and stuff. I don't really give a damn about that. It's when it's it's when it's done like it's you know internet porn that it becomes and it actually becomes an issue, especially when you have kids watching it. Now you could make an argument that oh parents are supposed to raise their children, but it's like everybody has access to the, has access to the internet and that and like even if 
the vast majority of parents did do that, it would still damage a large portion of children who do not have proper parenting or other reasons.